I must welcome the chiefs and heads of delegations from navies across the world who have come together at Vishakapatnam to strengthen bridges of friendship and one look out of the window at the blue waters of the Bay of Bengal with all the ships lined up at the review anchorage is a pointer to indicate that we may be separated by geography but we are certainly united by the oceans. We will have the International City Parade where we look forward to the participation of all our guests and we will have contingents from navies across the world. This again would be a feature to see the rich cultures and traditions from different parts of the world being displayed on the beach road at Ramakrishna Beach where the Honorable Prime Minister will be the, the chief guest and of course followed by an air display and aspects related to fireworks and illumination. We will have an aspect where we will have the closing ceremony which has been planned on the 8th of February where we will also have an international band concert and again the Navy's and the sailors and officers will all be together to display the aspect related to strengthening of bridges of friendship. As we sail out or as ships of Navy sail out, we will have the opportunity for passage exercises where the crews of various ships will have the opportunity to display their professional skills and this would increase our aspects of mutual cooperation and interoperability. Here I must also thank the Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh and the people of Vishakhapatnam who have shown some great spirit in making Vishakhapatnam one of the most beautiful locations for the International Fleet Review. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome all of you for the International Fleet Review and we look forward to greater interactions in the series of activities that are planned in the days ahead. Thank you. I would like to say that the security, stability and safety in the global commons is the collective responsibility of coastal states and indeed the navies of the world. So to organize and ensure the safety and security of our ships, our submarines, the ships of the Coast Guard, the Merchant Marine and indeed the ships of our friends of navies from across the world. This has been a huge challenge. We have surveillance which is carried out from the air and indeed as must have been noticed by our friends. All our maritime aircraft have welcomed our ships, the ships from other countries as they entered into the region. Uh, through various choke points in the Indian Ocean region. So we've had to have various tiers of security arrangement, both in the harbor, outside the harbor, deployment of our ships, deployment of our other assets, and indeed to have a network of security and different tiers build up to see that the event goes off smoothly and without a hitch. As we speak, all those various firewalls all those various security tiers are in place and we look forward to having an incident free. The Bay of Bengal is the largest bay in the world and we have our literal neighbors uh, which surround the Bay of Bengal ranging from Sri Lanka, India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia which is also on the fringes of the bay. These are our literal neighbors and it was our endeavor to see that we hold the International Fleet Review in proximity of our literal neighbors so that it will be easier for their ships and some of the navies with smaller ships also to participate. Certainly we had an aspect related to the fact that Vishakhapatnam is the city of destiny. It's in the state of Andhra Pradesh which is a vibrant and a resurgent state and of course it is the headquarters of our Eastern Naval Command. 
also the aspects related to the look east and the act east policy of the government and this was another aspect which worked in favor and most importantly you've all seen Vishakhapatnam, you've all seen the bay the waters of the east coast of India and indeed of Vishakhapatnam provide us the adequate depths the anchorage is outstanding and all these aspects had to be taken into account when we decided on Vishakhapatnam as the location since it is the headquarters of our Eastern Naval Command.